Hi guys, I'm Jojo Astro Barbie from Yab Love. Welcome to your weekly horoscope. Happy, 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 happy Cinco de Mayo to all our wonderful, lovely, fabulous Mexican friends. Yes, we're going to celebrate all week, especially on Tuesday. Tuesday, that's the big day for partying. Let's get the margaritas out and enjoy the mariachi bands. We'll have a lot of fun. And guess what? The same day on Tuesday, NASA will launch a space mission called InSight to the planet Mars so to better understand how it's made for the last 4 billion years. Exciting for me as an astrologer. This week, the sun is in the sign of sensual achiever Taurus. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. That's my little baby angel. I love her. She's always with me. This week, the sun also will give us a lot of hope for the future. And the moon will visit the signs of Libra, Scorpio, Sagittarius, and Capricorn. It means you will shine this week. Good, good, good news this week. Well, on Sunday, we have a fabulous, inspiring full moon in the sign of Scorpio that brings healing, deep, deep, profound transformation, personally, collectively. You'll see the energy now will start from sort of getting a little bit more balanced. Mercury is frontwards, but Saturn, the planet of lessons of teaching, is going, taking a break for a couple of months, and that's going to give us a break. So it's a good week, really, this week, to clean our life, the closets, physically, emotionally, psychologically, and also recycle what we no longer need. So it's a cleansing and a partying kind of week. A Saturn Sun trine means a good aspect between Saturn planet of wisdom and the Sun planet of life with the full moon also helps us to look deeply, to see things deeply, hear deeply, and plan carefully to get a lot of work done all week. It's wow, production week. Yay! Good luck, all my friends, because you will do a lot of good stuff this week. Taurus, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Taurus, we love you. The sun in your sign and the full moon in your relationship sector bring you popularity, sex appeal, and a feeling like you're invincible. Your adaptability and perseverance bring really good feelings in family matters and also in career. You're moving forward. Saturn going backwards also in your karmic sector brings a brand new chapter in career and finances. Money, you don't have to worry about that. It's coming in. Still be frugal and put money away and take care of your budget. On the weekend, you attract smiles and applause. You're on the top of the world. Do you feel it? Your magical color green like in numbers 4 and 48. Ta-da! Gemini, the full moon in your work sector gives you a big boost of energy. You're more in the flow. You're more confident. You attract also more harmony in your relationships. Some clarification is made in career that will give you peace of mind. You definitely have more harmony in your personal life as well. And although you feel very sensitive these days, you do project a very strong, powerful aura. And people really want to give you what you want to have from them. On the weekend, tenderness awaits. So take a little break. Your magical color is yellow. Lucky numbers 3 and 36. Ta-da! Cancer! You are getting your mojo back. You've been quite sensitive last week. Well, this week, the full moon, your master in your creative sector, gives you wings. You fly high. Choose love and faith and miracles instead of what insecurity, fears, and doubt. That's not for you this week. The universe also has your back. Please believe that. Saturn planet of wisdom, going backwards in your relationship house now, finally will bring you some answers about your spiritual values and your love life. What you really makes you happy. You've been experimenting, now you realize that maybe you should keep it more simple. If anyone is holding you back, let them go. All right, just have a clean slate. It's time to rise above of it all and do it your way. In career, expect breakthroughs that could blow your mind. Your magical color is pink, lucky like numbers 7 and 21. Leos, the full moon in your home sector bring popularity and confidence. You're wearing your crown this week. The full moon gives you that royalty. Good time to socialize, make your pitches, and get back in the game in career and in health. 
Second, plenty of wisdom going backwards in your workhouse can also bring a new job, a promotion, or some legal settlement in your favor. On the weekend, friendship definitely plays a key role. Your magical color, gold, lucky numbers, one and 10. Virgo, the full moon in your communication sector shed light in your relationship. You could see clearly now. You know the song? I could see clearly now. You attract honest and open communications and in career you are in the flow. You could also get a new job, launch a new project in love, in your personal life. Be proud of all your accomplishments. You did really good with yourself. On the weekend, you're very popular. Taurus, Aquarius and Cancer find you very attractive. Your magical cover turquoise, lucky numbers 9 and 21. Libra, the confidence is very high this week. Yes, the full moon gives you a boost. People respect your demands and somehow you're feeling better and better. The full moon in your financial sector sort of like a bring you luck and protection and you can feel it. Follow your hunches in everything you do in love, career, financial and social life. You could do something for charity and in career, success is guaranteed. Ask and you shall receive this week. Play lottery too, you're lucky. On the weekend, smiles and laughter awaits. Your magical color, lilac, your best signs, Gemini's, Cancer's, and Capricorn. Your best numbers are six and 33, and I would add for this week, 39. Play lottery. Scorpios, my beauties, smile. You are definitely the shining star this week. Everything's starting to make sense. You will not believe it, it's true. The week, and somehow the full moon, really brings you like ah, a feeling of rebirth. It's in your sign and it gives you power, popularity, and high creativity. And what was impossible last week, now is possible, just like that. Vindication and hope is in the air for you. And Saturn going backwards finally gave you a break. It makes you more stronger, more confident, and a good time to really let go of the old ways. Please shed the weight, shed the whole habits, any addiction, bye-bye. Get back to be impeccable in body, mind, and soul. Somehow also, it's a very good time for you to maybe communicate certain ideas you have in career because this is a week you could really achieve your goals quite easily. On the weekend, you receive gratitude for your immense generosity of heart. Cancer, Pisces, and Taurus, show they care your magical color, Fuchsia, lucky numbers, 8 and 44. Sagittarius, the lucky one, the full moon in your spiritual sector bring confidence and more peace of mind and good health. Enthusiasm and new opportunities come your way, especially in career. Everything is more smooth sailing and yet new possibilities knock at your door. Are you ready? It's time to believe in yourself. Anything is possible. Everything also negotiable. Just think big and rich. In love, are you happy? Are you fulfilled? Are you with the person you really, really, really want? Come on down now, Sagittarius. Do something about it. If you're not, make the changes. Go for what you deserve. On the weekend, get in touch with nature and your spiritual self. Your magical color red, lucky numbers, seven and 25. Capricorn, hope is in the air. The full moon in your social sector brings strength and character and the wisdom to handle what comes your way. There could be some challenges, especially in family matters, but you're doing good. People appreciate your positive attitude and in health issues, you're definitely playing a key role in your life or somebody else's. Healing awaits. Just believe in miracles. It's very important. The divine right now is working for you to really convert a very, uh, maybe strange situation into some kind of miracle at the end. On the weekend, prayers, meditation, asking the universe for what you want will bring answers and miracles. Your magical color silver, like numbers two and 11. Aquarius, the full moon in your career sector brings popularity and creativity. In career, you understand the bigger picture of life and you influence people with your wisdom and altruism. And the money picture, definitely good. In love, action speaks louder than words. At home, friends and family appreciate your help and your generosity. On the weekend, you attract sincere love and it feels so good. Your magical color blue, lucky numbers, eight and 35. Pisces, the bouncing back and forth of all your life in the last many months finally settled down this week and you feel like, 
Ah, I can catch my breath. The full moon in your karmic sector also brings optimism and enthusiasm. In career, you make good decisions that pay off. Love partners, siblings, relatives also understand your needs. And by the end of this week, my friend, you will definitely feel amazing and powerful all over again. You're, you're gonna go like, I got it. On the weekend, get ready to rock and roll, find the weights, a Cancer, Taurus, and also a Scorpio bring you luck. Your magical color turquoise, lucky numbers 11 and 13. Aries, Aries, the full moon in your shared resources sector bring breakthroughs, hope, like rainbows in your in your life, new opportunities to be the best you could be. You see the bigger picture about the purpose of your life finally, and Saturn going backwards in your career house help you keep your head above the water and bring you more confidence in everything you do. All dreams are about to manifest in your life. Are you ready? Yes, you are. Your magical color red, lucky numbers, eight and 31. And now here's the wisdom affirmation of this very celebrating Cinco de Mayo week. We love you, our beautiful Mexican friends. In love, we attract what we are becoming. So we have to become what we want to attract. Is that simple? So if you want to have X, Y, Z, you have to be X, Y, Z. Trust me, that's the only way to do it. If not, you will continue to attract. You're good and you're not so good. So in order not to attract the not so good, you need to heal the not so good. Have fun everybody and go and celebrate and let's get, have a lot of fun with the margaritas. I love margaritas. And um, let's just go dance and party and have fun all week. Mm, be good now? Well, have fun. Just go dancing. Ta-da, ta-da, and margaritas. Oh la la.